because Joe Biden is very much alive and running for re-election. What's up, guys? Your boy, Benny. The most important question today in American politics is Joe Biden alive? And I ask that earnestly because it's been nearly a week and nobody has seen Joe Biden. Nobody's spoken to Joe Biden. Joe Biden is allegedly still the president of the United States and nobody has seen him and he has made no public appearances. Yet he has resigned the entire 2024 presidential election cycle 100 days before the vote. And now Kamala Harris is flying to his home in Delaware in an unplanned trip. Joe Biden has nothing on his schedule. And most importantly, the last time we saw Joe Biden, something horrible was happening to him. And we'll prove it all, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, we have the evidence. The Babylon Bee asking, America just kind of is curious if president is alive. Babylon B has a uh, shocking track record of being right or predicting the future. And I want to state up front that unlike many on the left, I don't wish any harm to Joe Biden at all. I want all Americans, no matter who they are or no matter how much I hate them, to live happy, peaceful lives. I really do. Never, ever have I agitated or called for any physical harm to anyone, and I never will. But we need to ask these questions, ladies and gentlemen. Check this out. This is the last time we saw Joe Biden. This is the uh, pool. They call this the pool footage. So these are the these are the uh, the videos that are taken by reporters who stand out uh, out front of Air Force One and take uh, videos and notes of what the president is doing. You see Joe Biden. Watch his steps here. He can barely look, look, look at the bend in his knees, the give in his knees. He can barely get down the stairs. And then he gets the car. And this is the most shocking part of the video. He gets the car and he can't get in. Joe Biden can't get into his own vehicle. Some a Secret Service agent needs to come in from behind him. Watch this. Come in from behind him and hoist him in. This was there you go. A Secret Service agent has to come and shove Joe Biden into the watch. Shove Joe Biden into the vehicle. He doesn't have the strength to enter the car. Look at that. I've never seen anything like it. Look at this. I, I can't believe I've never seen this footage. This is Joe Biden incapable of getting into his own vehicle. Secret Service has to, and then they hand him a, uh, a, a mask. Secret Service has to physically force him into the car because he doesn't have the strength. Something terrible, something terrible has happened to Joe Biden. And we're hearing a lot of reports of some pretty dangerous stuff that's going on with the guy health wise. Last time we saw Joe Biden was five days ago. Nobody knows where he is or what he's doing or if he's OK or who's running the country at the moment, says Matt Walsh. Uh, is the, uh, the last time we saw Joe Biden will it will ever be seen again? It's not a crazy thing to wonder at the moment. Is this the last thing you'll ever see from Joe Biden? To begin this trip, Joe Biden got on Air Force One, but you can see here that something horrible is happening to Joe Biden as he's going up the stairs. Watch this. He barely has the strength to lift his foot up to get up the flight of stairs. This is something that we have been uh, asking for quite a while. Um, is Joe Biden okay? Joe Biden then, he was supposed to be giving a speech here. Here is, this is in Las Vegas. He's supposed to be giving a speech here. And a lady comes out and says, oh, Joe Biden has COVID. You know what? He won't be able to make it. Okay, B fine, I guess. All right, that was kind of an excuse from four years ago, but okay, fine, I suppose. Maybe we should take those kind of things, you know, seriously. Yet, uh, <laughs> Lo and behold, Charlie Kirk uh, has a breaking story that is kind of shocking here. Apparently, the whole COVID excuse thing was entirely bunk. Look at a load of this. Look, apparently, that was completely fake, and the Las Vegas police know it. Charlie has uh, impeccable sources on these kind of things. And there's a lot of people and a lot of really smart people. Listen to this. She's got a weird story. Uh, that people should look into. I got a call from source inside of the Las Vegas Metro Police. 
The official story is that Joe Biden's trip was cut short due to COVID. However, according to the source, U.S. Secret Service informed the Las Vegas police that there was an emergency situation involving Joe Biden and to close necessary streets and that the president of the United States could be transported immediately to the medical center. Uh, and they demanded it be done now. Then mysteriously, there was a stand down order and the Secret Service informed local police they were going to medevac uh, the president to Johns Hopkins. They meant fly him back east ASAP. Apparently, the rumor mill in the police department is that Joe Biden was dying or possibly already dead. I didn't think too much about it because it sounds crazy. But given that Joe Biden has been out of public sight for days and dropped out of the race via post on X and his brother James indicated that his health was a factor, I'm beginning to now grow more curious if it was COVID or something else far more serious being reported. Now, here's an update. Uh, Charlie, your information is solid. I retired from the Las Vegas Metro Police. My source texted me this just now. We were making plans to go to a trauma first, called in the box squads to come shut down the whole route. Then it changed to taking him to the airport. Uh, he was on the plane fast, and it took off faster than I've ever seen Air Force One leave the airport. I received multiple emails like this confirming many elements of the story. Many have confirmed that a call went out to block the streets to get Biden to a medical trauma center. Then the plan abruptly changed, and they got him out on Air Force One. I have not confirmed the IDs of these people, but there is an overwhelming number of stories corroborating this evidence. What's wrong with Joe Biden? Here's Zero Heads posting, is Joe Biden alive? Is Joe Biden alive? This is the Google trends. <laughs> the little spikes here and there, you know, it is Joe Biden. Now it's going, choo, going straight up. President Trump posting, does anybody believe that Joe Biden actually has COVID? No. He wanted to get out ever since the night of the debate where he was completely obliterated. Big moment. But President Trump also saying, uh, Joe Biden does not have COVID. <laughs> it's not over today. Tomorrow, Crook and Joe Biden is going to wake up and forget that he ever dropped out of the race. <laughs> well, let's see if Joe Biden does wake up. This is insane. Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu, he's like a big head of state, right? Benjamin Netanyahu, well, he was in charge of Israel. And we are at war with or on behalf of Israel or something like that, right? And you know, this is really important. Israel is in war. I mean, the leader of Israel always gets an audience at the White House. Uh, not tomorrow. The meeting was just canceled. Where is Joe Biden? I mean, if Joe Biden's going to be remembered for anything, it's going to be these forever wars that he's so excited about. And um, Joe Biden isn't there. In fact, Kamala Harris just headed to Delaware. W what's that about? This is where Joe Biden is apparently holed up. Kamala Harris just had, just like screamed out of town uh, over to Delaware. Lauren Boebert, Congresswoman, is saying, I demand proof of life by Joe Biden by five o'clock today. He needs to get in front of some cameras and discuss if he's aware that he dropped out. Hiding is completely unacceptable. One of uh, Donald Trump's top advisors, spokespeople, uh, Stephen Chung, just tweeted out, Joe Biden's brother says he hopes to enjoy whatever time we have left with Joe Biden. Does this mean Joe Biden has some kind of a terminal, some type of like horrible terminal illness? That there's something like really horribly bad going on with Joe Biden? Let's watch real fast. He said, I'm incredibly proud of my brother. Selfishly, I will have him back to enjoy whatever time we have left. He is a genuine hero country over self. It sounds corny in our cynical political environment, but he nor I are cynical. The goal remains the same. Defeat Trump and continue the work that Joe has done. My hope is that our party rallies around this heroic act. We ask wait, 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 wait. Like, did I hear that right? News had a brief conversation with Frank Biden, one of President Biden's two younger brothers, and here's what he told us. He said, I'm incredibly proud of my brother. Selfishly, I will have him back to enjoy whatever time we have left. Whatever time we have left? Uh, that, that is not something you say about somebody healthy. Right? Like, if, if it... If I were to say like, hey, Frank, you know, you and me are hanging out. I'm like, hey, Frank, how's your wife? And you're like, I hope we get to enjoy whatever time we have left. 
with my wife. Like, I would think something horrible is happening. Joe Biden has no public events on his schedule. His schedule is completely blank. His schedule apparently ends on Tuesday. I mean, this is directly from the White House. And of course, Kamala Harris was doing Joe Biden events today. So Kamala Harris is stepping up and is doing the events that Joe Biden was supposed to do today. This is leading to figures uh, across politics to ask the same question. Uh, where the hell is Joe Biden? Can he hold up a newspaper or something? Where is Joe Biden? What's happened to him? Uh, Bill Ackman is a Democrat donor and a billionaire. And they're calling this conspiracy theories, but like <laughs> Bill Ackman is sharing some things that a lot of people have been uh, asking about, which is why did Joe Biden in Joe Biden's little letter that he wrote yesterday, you know, Joe Biden, Joe Biden writes this little letter, okay, and he signs it, uh, his signatures don't match. Right? So Joe Biden, Joe Biden's signatures don't match in his little resignation letter. So here's the Joe Biden resignation letter. We read it like twice yesterday and you have the, like the Joe Biden. I mean, once again, this signature already looks really bad. But then people are noting like that Joe Biden has never ever in any recorded history underlined his signature. So you have Joe and then Biden and then you have an underline here. So what's actually happening? Who signed Joe Biden's letter? Here are Joe Biden's signatures all throughout, you know, throughout June, April, March, whatever. These are like still this year. They're very, very, you know, here are the executive orders. And then here is the Joe Biden signature from yesterday. Who the hell is signing these things? Who signed Joe Biden's letter? First, I didn't think anything of it, says Owen Schroyer. And then what? This is a legit coup. It's not his signature. It's blatant criminal forgery. Why no word from Joe Biden himself? This is an initiated coup. So there it is. Who can anybody else find an example of Joe Biden underlining his signature? I mean, th these are Joe Biden signatures, right? So nobody's doubting that they're authentic. Why is he only underlining them right here? That doesn't even look like his handwriting, actually. Everybody's asking the same question, like going, is Joe Biden alive? Has something terrible happened to Joe Biden? Doesn't have any events. And the last time we saw him, Joe Biden, last time we saw Joe Biden, he could barely get into a waiting vehicle. He could barely take the, didn't have the energy to raise his foot up on the stairs and he didn't have the energy to get into a car? Look at this. Last time, I know we're trying to... Look at that. The agents have to physically, the agents have to physically hoist Biden, have to push Biden into the vehicle. I'll let you decide, ladies and gentlemen. So, so, like, something terrible is happening to Joe Biden. We'll stay on it. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. We're entering dark times, man. Total coup on the United States of America. It's happening right now. It happened, it happened in 2020. It's happening again right now. See ya.